Morning, Tammy. Good morning. Good morning. Is that slid back enough for you? You're probably <laughs> yeah, the tallest perfect. person that's ever been in this car. <laughs> yeah, that's wise. Put your belt on. <sighs> Lovely. All right, let's go. Beautiful morning. Ready for training? I am. Good, because yeah, we need our top goals for it. <laughs> Goal, goals is what springs to mind. When everyone talks about Tammy Abraham, you know, you scored a shed load for Chelsea at yeah. youth level. I remember watching you at Bristol City week in, week out. <laughs> 23 goals in the championship yeah. that season. Yeah. You got a handful at Swansea and then you come to Villa and yeah. for the first, did you know this, for the first time in 38 years, no. you're the first player to break 20 league goals for That's Villa. That's crazy. That's crazy. Do you believe that? No, I don't. You know, um, obviously as I've come here, I've believed in myself. I said, I'm going to help this team as much as possible. I'm going to do what I know how to do best in scoring goals and I'm in a team where create a lot of chances, so for me it's, it's, it's a great place to be. You seem to just be in the right place at the right time. Do you think, <laughs> I think some people think you know, you're either born with that or you sort of have that, that striker's instinct. Being younger, I grew up as a defender. Did you say, did you always play as a striker? <laughs> nah, I was so tall at, my, at a young age, yeah. so I was a, a centre-back. But they just saw my act of just keep going into the box and just obviously trying to score goals. And over the years I've moved forward and now I'm a centre-forward. And, I'm still trying to do the same thing, still trying to get in the right places to score. In training, in games, I, I treat it the same, you know. I score in training, I still celebrate. It's just <laughs> still, still that hunger of just trying to score goals and it brings that same excitement. Always looking to improve as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, always listening to what the gaffer and John Terry always have to say and what my obviously fellow teammates have to say, you know, and take it on board and just try to add everything into my game. And you stayed in January as well, which was massive. Everyone was so happy <laughs> to see you stay. That must give you a boost when, when you know how loved you are by the fans here. Yeah, definitely. I think um, that's something you need as a player. And that's something, I think one of the main reasons why obviously I stayed at such a wonderful club. You know, when you're treasured, it's, it's always nice and mm. um, makes you want to do even better for yourself and for your team and for everyone else as well. It was sort of your hero then as a kid looking to strikers. Quite a few. Well, what, 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 was Drogba at Chelsea same time as you? Like, yeah, I was at the young age groups. Um, but I used to go to every home game and watch Drogba, unbelievable player. What, what was it about him? I think um, he was just he was just a beast. Just looking at him, <laughs> yeah. he just looked scary and looks like someone you wouldn't like to play against. Um, and it's always good to have that, you know, that for defenders to have that fear factor against you. Um, now, when you look across the centre forwards across the league, the Premier League, who's the best for you right now? It has to be Aguero or yeah. Harry Kane. Or oh, Harry Kane. And when you look at his journey as well, mm. you know, mm. his loans and now he's England's number one striker, that must inspire you a lot as well. Ah, uh, yeah, it does, it does. You know, it just goes to show that you just keep working hard and just keep trying your best, even if something doesn't go your way, um, just keep going again and look at him now, he's had so many learns that have probably not gone as well as he'd liked, but um, he's one of the best strikers in the world Absolutely. now. So, um, yeah, and just, maybe one day you'll play alongside him. Yeah, him. maybe one day. Maybe. Not far off it. <laughs> and coming to Birmingham then, yeah. this year, how have you adapted to, to life here? Do you understand the, the Brummie accent? <laughs> <laughs> you have to now, I've not see <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I think it's alright. It's just not too different to London, you know. I, I've got I've had mates like Jack Grealish and Damari Gray move. I think I'm even though it's annoyed me over the years, but I'm, I think I'm used to the accent. So coming here weren't too different. I think Damari and uh, Jack Grealish. Jack Grealish not so, but Damari has probably one of the strongest permanent the accent, So I've been quite used to it. I'm playing with Jack, you know, week in week out, and obviously he's coming back to fitness now. How good a player is he and how important is he for us to Villa? He's an unbelievable player. You know, the things that he has, the things that he can do with the ball, it's just, it's just, you can't really teach him. He's, he's born with it. He reminds me a bit like Eden Hazard. Mm -hmm. I think just Jack just needs to add more goals and more assists and he will be on that level. I think he has the same attributes, you know, the way he dribbles, protects the ball, the way he sees a pass, he's one twos, he's very intelligent. And I think um, him coming back now is it's, it's a it's a it's a plus for us. But it's such a special special place to play, isn't it? For the park, it's oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. What was it like your first game? 
You know what, one game that stands out to me, all right, two games that stand out to me, uh, has to be probably Swansea. Mm -hmm. Yaffa's first game, it was, the stadium was unbelievable. And Birmingham, um, oh, of course. It's the derby. It's, it was unbelievable. I think um, that's when I truly saw how much it meant to the fans, you know, the passion they showed. Especially when I scored against Swansea as well. What was that like for you? Because obviously you spent last season there. Yeah, it was very special. You know, um, I think I told myself I wasn't going to celebrate, but you know, I think I was just Oops. so, I was just so <laughs> over the moon. You know, I was just, it was a massive game. The fans were behind us. Gaffer's first game, and it was it's one of the only times I scored with my head. You know, um, which it, is ridiculous because you're really tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was unbelievable, and for me, it was it was a big best moment. Well, now I'm back, uh, dropping you back to training. Thank you. Hope you're doing it all right. It was. You can leave me an Uber rating. <laughs> Be nice.